Coca-Cola's business and distribution strategy. According to official statistics, 1.9 billion Coca-Cola products are sold around the world every day. The Coca-Cola company is a global business that operates on a local scale. The company is able to create a global reach with local focus because of the strength of its system, which comprises the Coca-Cola company and their more than 250 bottling partners worldwide. The system has numerous legal and managerial departments and sections all independent of each other, and it does not own or control all of its bottling partners worldwide. While it is generally perceived that Coca-Cola runs all its operations globally, this process is done through various local channels. Coca-Cola typically agrees to refrain from selling or distributing, or from authorized third parties to sell or distribute, the company trademark beverages throughout the identified territory, to guarantee bottling partner exclusivity under that territory and product. However, Coca-Cola typically reserves for itself the right to manufacture and distribute its trademarked products and brands. In exchange Coca-Cola also participates in the sales and marketing activities of its bottling partners. For instance, in 2019, Coca-Cola spent $4.4 billion in promotional and marketing programs with bottling partners. The bottling partners manufacture, package and distribute the final branded beverages to customers and vending partners, who then sell products to consumers. All bottling partners work closely with suppliers, grocery stores, restaurants, convenience stores, amongst many others, to execute localized strategies developed in partnership with Coca-Cola. More precisely, although Coca-Cola is a global company, its products never have to travel far to reach the final consumer, making the product more local than you may think, the product is made local to the market where it is sold. Their business is a local business, typically products aren't shipped more than a few hundred miles, it's all about being responsive to the customer's needs and the local tastes of the consumers in every market. The Coca-Cola company sells its products to bottling and canning operations, distributors, fountain wholesalers and some fountain retailers. They then distribute them to retail outlets, corner stores, restaurants, petrol stations and many more. Coca-Cola short-term chain, long-term franchise model. The strategy of Coca-Cola and it comes to building, growing, and maintaining its distribution system is pretty fluid. Indeed, in most cases, Coca-Cola leverages a network of independent bottling partners. In some cases, Coca-Cola places strategic investments in some of the bottling partners' operations. It does that either to enable the entry in a local market, by leveraging on Coca-Cola's group resources, or to maintain control on the bottling partner. In the long term Coca-Cola will divest its stake as the bottling partner operations take off, thus enabling Coca-Cola to keep its capital requirements low, while keeping a minor stake in the bottling partner, thus guaranteeing control and cooperation. Therefore, the distribution system and the bottling partners are organized as a hybrid approach between chain and franchise. Where in the short term Coca-Cola acts as a chain of bottling companies. In the long term, it acts more like franchising, where bottling partners are kept mostly independent, yet tied to the Coca-Cola brand. This mixed distribution system of owned and non-owned bottling partners is the Coca-Cola system which sold 30.3 billion unit cases by 2019. Trademark Coca-Cola accounted for 43% of US unit case volume. Refranchising or going franchise. For instance, in 2019, Coca-Cola acquired the controlling interests in bottling operations in Zambia, Kenya, and Eswatini. As those bottling operations will become stable and established over time Coca-Cola will refranchise them. Therefore, it will sell its controlling stake, having a franchiser-franchisee relationship with those bottling partners, and in some cases, it might keep a minor equity stake to keep more control over the operations. In 2018, for instance, Coca-Cola had a few hundred million in proceeds as it refranchised its Canadian and Latin American bottling operations. This is how Coca-Cola keeps its capex low, while still keeping control of the bottling operations, and yet enabling expansion and capillary distribution. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments, 
it will help me to make more videos for you and thank you for watching.